Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I wanted to take you on a tour of a hotel that I've built. I've never built a hotel before. Uh, you may have seen my hospital video, but I'm not really that much into building large buildings. But I wanted to build one because a lot of my friends on Facebook have been building them and they've been very creative. And they have um, more luxury type hotels in their towns. So I wanted to build something a little different. I wanted to build a hotel that um, is more realistic. So if you were traveling on the interstate and you needed to stop off on an exit and stay at more of a three star, a, a more simple hotel, one that is not as luxurious but is very clean and nice and more family oriented. And I hope you've noticed the parking area out there because that's actually how I got the idea to build it. I was gonna build an office building. And as you can see here, I did um, video as I was building that and I started with the parking lot and just sort of got the idea to build the hotel. And I'm really glad that I did. I've used the lights there to divide parking spaces and they do light up at night. And I think it turned into like what you would see almost like a real parking lot there. Um, it was very easy to do, believe it or not. But again, I've tried to keep this. This almost looks like to me a comfort inn. Um, that's a hotel we have here in the United States. And it reminds me of a couple of those that I've stayed at. And I've tried to keep the entire hotel with a common theme like you would see in a real one. Um, when you come in, you just have a simple reception area here. You have an area where you check into your room or check out whether or not you have a reservation. You're gonna come to the desk here like these gentlemen and um, the person who works there would help you and give you a room. And we have a little fireplace over here. We have a lady sitting here on the little couch waiting for her husband to come pick her up. They're checking out. And then I've put over here a little trunk and I've also put, um, we got it in the, I think, boutique update, one of those clothing racks, but it really reminds me of those racks that roll where you can put your luggage on them and hang your garments. So I wanted to include that in the hotel as well. There's one also up, I think, on the second floor in the hallway. I just think that looks so realistic. But I've used the black tile flooring and I've tried to use carpeting, flooring, and wallpaper that just screams hotel. And this to me does. And um, you'll see she's coming up. No one's at the desk. I guess she's wondering where the lady went. <laughs> but um, again, we've just got the doormats there. This looks to me like when you would walk into just a regular little three-star hotel with your family. And through this doorway back here, we have an elevator. And on either side of the elevator, we have male and female restrooms. Very simple. And as we come back out to the lobby, I've made it to where one hallway runs from the front of the hotel to the back. And then we have another hallway that goes to the right side of the hotel. And I've stacked the guest suites on top, mostly on the right side of the hotel, as you'll see. But here we have the breakfast area. And hotels like this have this common area where everyone comes down in the morning. It's called a continental breakfast, and they can grab muffins, um, fruit, juice, coffee, tea, bagels, whatever they want. There's even a microwave there, a popcorn machine. And over here's the area where they would come and sit, and usually they would have the news on TV. And I just think this looks exactly like those little hotels that I stay at when I travel. And back here we have the staff kitchen where the uh, staff members would make, you know, I think they do it like four o'clock in the morning. They put all the stuff out for the guests to come down and eat in the morning after they've had a good night's sleep. So let's go into the hallway here. And the hallway actually goes, like I said, over to the right. And on the first floor, we just have two guest suites. You know, Sims Free Play towns are small, so I didn't want to overdo the hotel but I just put two down here on the first floor and then there's more upstairs, but this looks like a typical hotel suite to me. Um, I, again, I've used the common furniture throughout except for the two smaller suites upstairs. We have a chair here to relax on. We have the windows in the front where you can see the parking lot. The only thing missing is the heat and air unit because we just simply don't have that in the game, but that would be really neat if we did. We have a TV, a nice plant on the dresser, and over here we have just the hotel bath. We have the robes, the towels, the simple bathroom. I tried to keep everything clean and neat and not cluttered. 
And back here we have an identical suite, and you'll see that common thing throughout as we go to the upper floors, but I think they look just like little hotel suites. And on the back of the building we have a doorway to go outside to the pool area. Again, I didn't want to overdo it. I kept it small because the hotel is on the beach. The pool is kept small because most guests would go on out to the beach, but we do have a nice area back here um, with balconies above for the, the guest suites that are on the back of the building. But this is just an area where the guests can come and swim or lay out by the pool here and relax. And again, I did not want to overdo this. I tried to keep everything as realistic as I possibly could. So where should we go next? Let's go, I think, down to the basement because we do have a basement downstairs. And I've had to put the stairway in the hallway, but that's okay. But you pop downstairs and over to the left, we have the laundry area where the staff would come do the towels, the, you know, the sheets, the washcloths for all of the guests. And I put a cabinet over here where they can store them before they take them up to the guest rooms after the guests check out. And over here we have the gym. Again, it's small because it's a small hotel, but there is an area here where the guests can come and have a workout. They can listen to music or they can watch TV while they use the machines. You can look out and see the, the hallway out there. We have the large television and we have a towel cabinet for the guests so they can grab a towel before they head upstairs to their room to take a shower. And back here we have two male-female bathrooms. And I've included a vending machine in the hallway in case after your workout you want to grab a drink. So coming back out here through the lobby, we go over to the elevators. And as you know, you cannot take the elevator from the first all the way to the third floor. And you're gonna to have to ignore the noise in the background. My husband's using a saw. So, um, so what I did here was, since we had to take up so much space alternating elevators, I've included a vending area where, of course, as you know, the uh, guests can come and get ice, water, sodas, you know, chips, popcorn, whatever they need to get. I've included that on both of the upper floors. And you can see I have the hallway wrapping back and to the right, just like on the first floor, and the third floor will be the same. So on the front of the hotel, on the second and the third floor, see I'm popping up and down here, we have the smaller guest suite where we just have the double bed. It still has all the amenities of the other suite, you know, the TV, the chair, it has the dresser, and but it does have a smaller bathroom with just a tub, or I'm sorry, a shower, and the same thing for the third floor. And you can see I've included one of those racks here. I've even put the wall sconces like you would see in a regular hotel. Um, and you come out these doors here and we have a balcony and also one above it. Those are the community balconies where the guests who don't have the ocean view suites with private balconies can come and enjoy. So then you'll see going back and wrapping around to the right, we have suites that are identical. But before you get to those, we have a little conference room here in the middle. It just has the chairs, the table, and the TV. And right directly above that on the third floor, instead of it being a conference room, we have the business center where guests can come and you know do their work. If they're traveling professionals, there's a phone, there's two computers. And I like to imagine maybe there's a printer down there um, that you see the guest here getting some work done, checking her emails while she's staying in the hotel. And I have included a keypad so that, and outside the conference room as well, so that only guests can use those rooms. So wrapping around to the right, we're going to be matching the first floor suites again with the same theme. We have the same furniture, the same layout, same everything. I wanted to keep this again very realistic, so I've done it just the way you would see in a hotel of this type. Same thing for the third floor. So everything matches up, and the only difference is in the second and third floor, we have the conference room down there, and up here we have the business center. So that's the layout. You have the lobby, the two restrooms, the elevator, the breakfast room, the kitchen behind it. We have the hallway wrapping around with the two identical suites. We have, like I said, the kitchen. We have the pool area back there. We have the basement that I just showed you. Um, when we pop up to the second level, we have on the second and third levels, 
As you can see, when you pop up and down, everything matches just like in a normal hotel, except for the elevators being staggered. That was the conference room. That was the business center above it. And again, identical suites. So that's how I planned it out in my head. And that's how it came out. So I'm glad I built it. I may actually keep this. I'm not sure because if you watch my other videos, you know that I tend to build things and the things I really like and will really use, I keep in my town. The others, of course, because we have limited space, I do tear down after I make videos out of them. But let's have another look at it at night so that you can see how it's lit up. You can get a better look at the parking lot and the front of the building where I've laid the flower beds, made the curbs where you would pull your cars in. We have the balconies back there um, all lit up. We have the pool area. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I have all types of builds on my channel. I would really love it if you could check them out. If you've liked this, please give me a like because I did work pretty hard on it actually, um, though it was fun. But again, please feel free to watch all my other videos. You guys take care. Thanks so much for watching and have a very wonderful day and a very wonderful holiday season.